What's happening, golfing fans? Welcome back to the channel. Brought to you in association with betting.co.uk. I'm your host, Ginger Joe, and I'm back again with my weekly golf selections for you to take a look at. And we've got two events to cross our attentions to in this week's episode. We've got the PJ Tour, where we've got the Valero Texas Open. And then on the Live Golf Circuit, we also have the um, Orlando Championship over at the Crooked Cat as well. Now, uh, we've had a very profitable couple of weeks, and if you're new to my channel, please do click that subscribe button. That helps the channel massively, and that is the only thing I ask of you, and you'll probably get some good karma for doing that as well. Now, in my Discord group a couple of weeks ago, we landed the 373-1 to double on the golf, and last weekend it was, again, very profitable indeed. We had the Johnson Workwear Open, where we had Gavin Green, who managed to finish tied sixth at 40-1 to with quarter of the odds. Now, he was actually sitting in second position heading into the final round, and he started playing pretty nicely, but then he managed to put back-to-back -back double bogeys together in his card, which sort of ruined his winning chances. But he battled back nicely, managed to get back in the placings. So we've got 40 to 1 at a quarter of the odds each way there. And then on the PJ Corrales Punta Cana Championship, we had Nikolai Hoygaard at 28 to 1. He was actually leading going into the final round at 28 to 1, but he managed to finish second. Started off early with his round with a bogey. Battled back nicely, but it was just one short come the finishing line. But we managed to land the two each way singles, and of course, we managed to land the each way double as well. And that puts us another 42 points profit up for this week as well. As I said, all my selections get posted in my Discord group first and foremost. Please do subscribe to the channel before we go any further. But this week, then, we're going to start off with the PJ Tour. I've got four selections in one, three in the other. And we're going to start off with the Valero Texas Open, which is paid, played on the Oaks course over 7,494 yards. Last year's winner was JJ Spawn. He makes the lineup again this year, but I find it quite hard to see him winning. I'm not actually a massive fan of the way he plays. Um, not massively sweet on too many this week, but initially, just to let you know, I did fancy Ricky Fowler and Davis Riley, but they've been put up across the boards by loads of golf tipsters this week, and I'm just going to take a step back and remove them from the selections. Whether that be right or wrong, obviously, we'll find out in a few days, but with the former on, I feel it's okay to let them to go. Don't want to be seen as a copycat, but I will get my selections out there Tuesday morning, moving forward so they're there before anyone else. My first selection on the PJ Tour this week is world number 21, Hideki Matsuyama at 25 to 1. He won the Masters in 2021 and he's an eight time PJ Tour winner. This guy is just an absolute baller. He can chip, he can putt, and he's very, very good off the tee as well. He's slowly coming into form. Played quite well at the end of January in the Farmers to finish tied ninth, and then he finished at the players in fifth position, card in a 67 and 68 to finish that weekend as well. I think he's just starting to hit form just at the right time of the Masters coming up around the corner. And at 25 to 1, Hideki will be my main selection for the Vol uh, Valero Texas Open. My second selection is going to be world number 65, Andrew Putnam at 55 to 1. A very smart guy is Andrew. He is actually currently training to be part of the Navy SEALs as well. So not only a very good golfer, but a very smart man as well. And he's just a player that I generally really like. He's a very, very good putter. He's already had a win on the PJ Tour. And he finished tied 40th for this event last year. But he didn't play very well at all. And he's much, much better than that. He was second in the Zozo at the end of 2022, card in 68, 62, 68, 68. And then he finished fourth in the Sony this year as well, and card did another 62. It's just relentless golf, and he's putting really does make him a contender pretty much anywhere he plays, especially when he gets his approach play going. I really fancy him this week, and his ability to go low, I think, could bode well for him here. And I expect a big performance, particularly from those two in this week's event. Then I've got Seb Straker at 100 to 1. Now, he's a player that just keeps catching my eye. He was tied fifth in the Honda this year. Four very good rounds that he put together. Very solid player. And he's actually started this year really nicely, too. He was tied 20th in the century, finishing minus 16. And he actually managed to get himself up to world number 32. He's a PJ Tour winner, and 100 to 1 is simply just way too big for the consistency of a player like Sepp. And then my fourth selection for the Valero Texas Open is another Austrian in Matthias Schwab at 150 to 1. World number 274, a player that can be a bit hit and miss, but he's very good at his repeat performances. And he played very well in this event last year to finish tied eighth. He actually comes into this event playing pretty good golf as well. He starts coming to form and another one that at 150 to 1, I think is way too big. So... We've got Hideki Matsuyama at 25 to 1, Andrew Putnam at 55, Seb Stryker at 100 to 1, and then Matthias Schwab at 150 to 1. Then, if we move over to the Live Golf, we've got the Orlando Championship at the Crooked Cat. Now, this is 7,290 yards long, 
par 71 is not necessarily too long a course when you look at the numbers but with it being a par 71 that does narrow down the scoring and the betting is a little bit all over the place here we haven't had a pre-event here other than qualifying events for the pga the um, challenge tour and a few other events this is the first time it's going to hold a genuine tour event i think the big hitters can probably go pretty well here but again scoring not too sure it's going to pan out yet i think it's going to be quite low on the texas open my first selection is world number 283, Carlos Ortiz. He won the 2020 Houston Open on the PGA Tour, and he's already won a Live Golf Tour event himself as well. And he was also second in the Mayakoba on the PGA Tour. He's a starting um, price here at 25 to which may seem to be a little bit too short, but he's a very good player on the Live Golf circuit so far, and he's actually been playing very, very well. He placed, uh, finishes in the places very often, nice and consistent. 25 to 1, Carlos Ortiz will be my number one selection. Then world number 30, Abraham Anser at 16 to 1. Um, Mexican's top ranked golfer and ambassador for the sport in Mexico. A very, very good player. PJ Tour winner in 2021. Uh, Doesn't really do too much wrong with his game as well. And he's already a two time winner on the, the live golf circuit. I don't think he's got too many excuses um, this year. And he was already in the, he was at one point in the top 15 of the world. He's a very consistent player. And again, amongst the few at the top of the market here, I think are actually looking a little bit ropey. He's one that comes into this in pretty decent form. 16 to 1 short enough, but I like his chances. Now my third and final selection for this event is world number 53, Mito Pereira from Chile at 14 to 1. He was actually leading the PJ last year after 54 holes. And he actually played really well in the Shriners this year as well. He's definitely a player that needs uh, needs a bit of good form to sort of spark his game. And he's coming into this event playing pretty well as well. He nearly finished bronze um, in the Olympics a couple of years ago as well. He actually went out on a seven-man playoff, but he did play really well that day. Pretty consistent since he's won on the Live Golf Tour, I think at 14 to 1. He's a little bit short, but he's the selection that I fancy, and we'll go with that one there. So, just to recap on all seven selections for this week on the PJ Tour and the Texas Open, we've got Hideki Matsuyama at 25 to 1, Andrew Putnam at 55s, Sepp Straka at 100s, and then Matthias Schwab at 150 to 1. Then on the Orlando Championship on the Live Golf Tour, we've got Carlos Ortiz at 25 to 1. Abraham Anser at 16 to 1. And then we've got Mito Pereira from Chile at 14 to 1. Look, I hope you're enjoying the content. If you do, please do hit subscribe. That's all I ask from you viewers. Please don't forget, I've got a free group chat. If you'd like to come and join, it's in the description below. Hopefully, we can have another very profitable week. Thank you all for tuning in. Good luck, and we'll see you all real soon.